and residents of Mangu village Nyandara County are still coming to terms with a horrific incident where a 28-year-old athlete was last evening attacked and wounded by marauding hippos near Ewasonyuro River. Residents now want Kenya Wildlife Service to set up a camp at the Mangu Hippo Sanctuary to help tackle the rising cases of human-wildlife conflict. Residents of Mangu village are a worried lot. This is after an athlete was on Monday evening attacked and wounded by marauding hippos near Ewasonyiro River. Edwin Mokua, a road race runner, was in the company of our colleagues. They went to their evening jog when he was attacked and injured on his left shoulder and back. So, I was in the company of our colleagues. I was in the company of our colleagues. According to Dennis Kipkosge, he was running ahead of Moku and after a while he turned back but could not see him. It was then that he decided to go back and found he had been attacked by a herd of hippos. Kurudi kufika karibu na hippo, sasa maandi venye nimeona sasa hippo, nika angalia hippo, inamuma jamaa, akiwa inamurusha juu. Inarusha juu ya mkongo, ikirudisha chini, inatafuna, akirusha. So mi nikapika nduru, nika... nika the attack comes barely four days after another man was attacked by the hippos in the same area. Uyo siyo wakwanza siyo wapiri. Izo hippos zimeua watu sana hapa nyaururu. Juzi karibu na kwangu tulikuwa, kwangu nyibani tulikuwa na maobore zingine hapa na mazichi. Kuna mzee neiba yagu walikuwa mewawa kitu two weeks ago. Kwa hivyo inafaa serikari ifanye kitu kuhusu hizo hippos. In the past one month at least two people have been mauled to death and three others injured by the marauding hippos in Manguo village alone. Residents now want Kenya Wildlife Service to pitch tents at the Manguo Hippo Sanctuary to help curb rising cases of human wildlife conflict. Mokua is receiving treatment at Nyaururu County and Referral Hostel where doctors say he is in stable condition. He was expected to jet out to Turkey for an international event this weekend. Timothy Kipnosu for Channel 1 News.